Hey, Devin here. In today's video, I will show you how to learn Qualtrics fast as a complete beginner. Looking back, I spent over a year now working the Qualtrics platform full time. And because the company I work for is a Qualtrics partner, I was able to get my certification as a EX and a CX tech consultant. I work in both products. Additionally, I got my XMP certifications through the Qualtrics XM Institute. Despite all this training, I sometimes still get confused on how to use the Qualtrics platform. Uh, with that being said, if I had to relearn the entire product again from scratch, this is what I would learn first in order to set the proper foundation. The one thing I would learn right away is big picture of how the data flows through Qualtrics and the different components of the product. So Qualtrics has six parts. I'll describe each one, then I'll show you a live navigation in my sandbox account. We have the directories, libraries, survey project, workflows, tickets, and dashboards. For the directories, this is where you store your profiles of your customers and employees. Think of it as your hard drive of your computer where all the information is stored. This is where you upload your information and create segmented lists depending on who you want to send your survey out to. For example, you can create a list to send out people who only live in the city of Toronto. Next, we have our libraries. This is where you store pre-built surveys, branding graphics, and templated messages. Next, we have our survey projects. As you can see, the libraries and directories information get pulled into the survey. This is where you design and build survey questions around the company's objectives. Right Then we have our workflows, which are built within the survey project. Workflows allow you to trigger tasks based on various events. For example, if a customer were to give you a low NPS score, send an email out to the senior manager. Workflows is how we also create a ticketing system for our closed loop feedback system. It is a way to assign ownership of a task to an individual who can take quick action. Lastly, we have our dashboards, which allow you to report your research with visualization, right? We can highlight key findings, action insights, and reports to your key stakeholders. What our company does, it offers a full turnkey system in which we pretty much build everything. So our clients have a working ticketing system and dashboard, which can use right away to drive continuous improvement in the business. Uh, with that being said, you know, let's hop into the sandbox and show you how to navigate each one of these components and try and keep in mind this framework of how the data flows. Right now we're in the homepage of our sandbox account. So going on the top left to our main menu button, this is where we can go to our directories. I mentioned before here that you can upload your employee profiles or your customer profiles, right? If you go into your customer profiles here, this is where we can set up our segmented list, you know, upload our directory contacts, set up our distribution, um, distribution emails, and also set up automation, right? Going back into the main menu button here, let's go into our libraries, right? Our libraries, it's where we set up our pre-built uh, surveys. We can upload our branding into the graphics library we can also set up our email templates for our invites and reminders in the message library. Going into one of our survey projects now, let's go into this wireframe. I mentioned before that the directory information and the library information gets pulled into the survey project, right? And then in the survey project, we had to build our you know, survey questions. And within the survey questions is where we can build our workflows, right? Workflows allow us to trigger certain action based on various events. This is also where we can set up our closed loop feedback system, our ticketing system, basically within the Qualtrics project. Uh, you can click on here, click on tickets, and basically this is where you set up your, uh, again, mentioned your ticketing system. Let it load, and you can edit everything here, right? You can also view your open tickets in the main menu and clicking on tickets here. This is where you can view how many tickets you have opened and that are outstanding. Lastly, in order to create your dashboards from your survey results, all you have to do is really just create a new project and click on dashboards here and then attach your survey information into the dashboard. And that's how the data flows through the Qualtrics system. Very big picture. The directories and libraries information goes into the survey project. You build the workflows within the survey project and use the workflows to create the ticketing and dashboards, which allow the business to drive continuous improvement in their organization. 
So I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, uh, please leave me in the comment below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.